Aren't you just happy with the new wave effect in the latest Create Studio update? I know I am. This wave effect enables you to create cool smoke effects, fire effects and you can use this to create some nice looking motions. But you really need to practice discovering its full potential. I was exploring this new feature now and I discovered a very cool way to use this effect. Continue to watch until the end and I'll share with you what I have discovered. This is Victor with a new tutorial in Create Studio Pro. Let's bring a background on the canvas. I am opening the Studio folder, go to the backgrounds and here I have some different categories to choose my background from. I go and select Flow. Notice that I can extend the view of this media library by grabbing its right margin and dragging sideways. For you to be able to bring any of the backgrounds from this library to the canvas, you need to make sure to download it first, you just need to click on this arrow and then you can bring it on the canvas. For this demonstration, I will bring in this space background. Close back the studio folder and let's rename it, just to stay organized. And to make sure I am not moving the background while I am animating other elements, I will go and lock it in place for now. You can see that I can't move it anymore. Now I open the media folder and I go to this SVG integration and I'll search for a rocket. I click this open full gallery to have a better view of the options it gives me and I'm looking for a rocket without its flames. And I found this one. I import that to my files and if I go back to my files the rocket is here. I just drag and drop it on the canvas. Notice that the circle ring on the rocket is a negative space so I will want to fill that with a shape just for a better looking. Rotate a little bit and change the color. I go here to the far right to open the color selector and I'll choose one of my colors that I have saved in my favorites. From the shape menu I'll bring in a circle, resize it a little bit and I'll bring it here over the rocket to fill that negative space. I will bring the circle under the rocket. I will change its color with one of my colors and then I will select both the circle and the rocket and group them together. I am giving a name to this group and now it is much easier to resize and position. Now I go back to the shape menu and this time I'll bring in a triangle to create the rocket's flames. I'll rotate, extend it here on the timeline and rename it. Then I will grab this side of the triangle and stretch it outside the canvas. On the timeline I will position the triangle under the rocket. Adjust and reposition a little bit. Now it's time to open effects and grab the wave effect and drop it here on the triangle. And you can see that the wave effect is already on the element but if I play it a little bit, you can see that it is waving towards the rocket and it should be the other way around. To change that, having the triangle selected, I go here to the top right corner, I open the effect settings and I need to change direction to about 180. And now if I play this once again, you can see that it goes in the right direction. Now I am just about to show you a way that I found to get even more visual impact when using the wave effect. Let's see what it is. Having the flame selected, I go here and open the color selector. And instead of just giving it a solid color, I will switch here to the radial gradient tool. I already have some radial gradients saved in my favorites and I'll select this one. And now I can adjust the position of the two gradient handles and play with it to find the desired position. If I want I can adjust the color to have this inner flame effect a little bit more prominent. You can play with the colors and find the right combination of colors. Adjust the gradient right here to fit your preferences and let's see how it looks. So 
you can see that the effect is much nicer using a radial gradient than just a simple solid color. To go even further, I will make a copy of the flame triangle and selecting the one below, I will extend the width a little bit by just dragging its lateral margins. I go back to the color selector to change it to a different gradient, and here we have preset gradients under this popular tab, and I will choose this one. To easily align the two flame triangles, I will select them both and once I have them selected, the Distribute and Align menu pops up in the top right corner and I'll click here on this icon to align both selected elements by their horizontal axis. And now let's play the animation one more time. Having this effect all set. I go on and get everything in one group, except the background. I'll bring the whole group outside the canvas, on the lower left corner, and let's add a position animation with linear easing. And now, moving the playhead to the last keyframe, I will bring the rocket group here on the canvas. I'll just extend the time duration of the added animation so it will play slowly. And let's see how it looks. This looks quite impressive. Your imagination is the limit when using this effect. And if you'd like to see more tutorials, be sure to check my other videos on my channel. I'm sure you'll find some interesting tips and tricks. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit that notification bell. Have a great day and have fun creating!